Hi, this is Steve Yates, and this is tutorial two of Pixel Splitter. In the last tutorial, I showed you how to choose the colors and uh, set the image up um, for the actual separation. And in this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you, <coughs> excuse me, how to push the button, make it go, and show you how to actually have separations um, that you can put on your press and run. So, without further ado. Here are our colors. I'm going to run down here and hit color separate. And pixel splitter is going to go through the motions right now. It's going to show you my two hairy arms up there getting ready to pull a squeegee and uh, pull these three colors. Okay, as you can see, it's getting ready to do the tail end of the separation here. It's finishing the black. Even though the uh, screen says white, it's actually black. It just did that so you can see the contrast. And not every pixel splitter does this. It depends on the version and uh, circumstances of your operating system and stuff like that um, as to why that is black or white. Um, Anyway, nonetheless, pretty soon this will be all done, and you'll get a chance to see um, all the separations together. And you'll get a chance to see uh, Pixel Splitter uh, do its thing when it's all done with the separation. It goes into a different mode altogether, and you'll get a chance to see that. Pretty soon the black will be done. Uh, Pixel Splitter's already done the light blue and the red. The last time, getting ready to finish the black. And when it does any second now <laughs> you'll get a chance to see it go into um, the uh, separation you can edit the separations themselves mode meaning um, you can add half tones and uh, put one separation in another separation stuff like that for this uh, particular demo we're gonna call this Ford Galaxy pixel splitter asks you whoops pixel splitter will always ask you what it is that uh, you want to name the file, and in this particular case, it's, we're going to call it Ford Galaxy. Uh, hit OK. Add Subtract Halftone. Pixel Splitter goes into a mode where now it's going to ask you um, if you want to add one separation to another separation, um, and if so, how much how much percent do you want to do that? Do you want to subtract um, one separation from another separation? Do you want to open up the highlights a little bit? Do you want to pop the co contrast a little bit more do you uh, want to just just move the dots themselves uh, single dots themselves sometimes dots will go through a screen and you, you uh, hate to see them go so you'll add them to another screen somewhere um, and more on all that later right now what I'm going to show you is we're going to go to one of the separations in this particular case we're going to go to the blue which remember before I told you that uh, it was impossible to do a spot color separation of the um, fractal texture designs this is a spot color separation of a texture design and what I'm gonna do right now just uh, for the sake of showing you is I'm gonna make a 35 line dot at 22 degrees and I'm gonna half tone this without a rip and right now it's half toning spot color spotlight blue um, like I said 35 line screen uh, at uh, 22 degrees and it's going through the motion right now doing it and pretty soon it'll be all done um, there it goes processing so and what it's actually gonna do by the way it's taking this uh, image which is a grayscale bitmap image and it's making it a 1200 dpi um, bitmap or a grayscale image depending on your choosing it's not going to matter it could be a bitmap image um, I think it leaves it as a bitmap image but anyway you can see now that uh, that's in fact exactly what uh, pixel splitter has done has made this this uh, image a uh, half tone and if I keep backing this up to get a better idea of uh, what I'm talking about and of course 
um, as I back up, you're going to get a chance to see the moray, the moray of the screen and the uh, half tone itself. But at least you get the idea that uh, this is exactly what uh, Pixel Splitter does. And another neat thing, this is a hybrid of half tone and index. Whoops. This is a hybrid of index and half tone, and that's the reason why you're going to see things like this, where you've got half tone in one place and an index in, in another. What the reason why that happens is um, Pixel Splitter goes through and, and finds whatever index it can, and in some cases it might fill a dot um, with another color. In this particular case, there might be another color in this portion of the dots, or Pixel Splitter might just leave that open in white for some reason. This particular case right here, it was probably a 50% or better um, half tone or tint. And so when we went to go make the half tone, of course, Pixel Splitter went ahead and half toned that out. Now, if I back up a little bit, actually, I'll just hit uh, F4. This is the blue separation. And of course, again, you can't see it that well because screen resolution doesn't permit it. But uh, that is how to do it. <laughs> so I don't mind telling you. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed these demos. Um, in the third demo, I'll show you a little bit more uh, detail about what uh, Pixel Splitter can do. But uh, for now, that'll at least get you started. So I'm Steve Yates. This is Pixel Splitter, and I'll talk to you the next time. Thanks.